Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. I wanna to talk to you about wiring and what the different colored wires, where they go. Oh, how shocking! All right, friends, so when we're talking about wiring in a residential setting, we usually have a three wire three wires in one coating. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get that coating off. The way we do that is we take a utility knife and cut this way. Now there are some products you can buy that are wire strippers that you can clamp on here and pull and it, it cuts that wire so you can get to the actual individual wires. I usually use a utility knife. So I have my utility knife and I'm just going to take it and cut down like that just to cut in between the wires. I don't want to cut like this because I don't want to nick those wires. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now we can take that coating, we could take that insulation that's around the copper wire and we can cut that stuff off. I usually bend it to the side cut it so I don't have to deal with that stuff so now I have three wires I have a white a black and a bare wire there were the copper wire so we have the hotline the neutral and the ground but in order to wire things up properly we have to get a little bit of the black and the white exposed. So the way we do that is with a pair of wire um, pliers, electrician's pliers, something like that. Now, if you look on here, they have different numbers for the different holes. What that is, is for the different gauges of wire. So figure out what you're using this is a 12-3 wire, 12 gauge wire, three wires in this. So I will put, I'll, I'm gonna take about three quarter inch or so, and then I'm gonna stick that in the 12. I'm gonna clamp on, and I'm gonna turn my pliers like that. What that does is that cuts that plastic coating, and then I can just push that coating off and then I have a bare wire exposed. So I'll do that to the black, crimp on there, turn it, push it off. Now I have some exposed wire. So now with your exposed wires, we want to have a little spot to wrap those wires around what we're going to wire up. So if this is what I will wire up. We have, um, it's really hard to see here because these have been used so much, but typically we have silver and then we have gold. And the only way you can really tell that is by looking in the screw because these have been used so much. So we'll hope, go ahead and we'll grab a different one. Okay, so we have a different one now. You can see we have a gold side and we have a silver side, and then we have this random green screw over here. What in the world's that doing? Well, this is your ground. That's where that bare copper wire will go to. But we're not ready to wire these up. What we need to do is be able to wrap those around. Now, some people like to use, see these holes in the back? Some people like to just stick the wire in there. I don't like that. Um, I like to wrap it around. I think it is a better secure hold. So the uh, way we're going to do this, or the way I do this rather, I always want to uh, have a nice little curve, a little hook. And so I take my pliers, I put the pliers on the end of the wire, just like that. And then I just wrap it around, just like that. And then I produce this nice little hook. Now, some people don't like that where it's not totally um, circular. 
So some people Some people like to use some needle nose pliers and they take the end there, wrap it around, and you see how that produces a little tighter circle. That's what some people like to do. I don't care what you do as long as it's tight. So you take that, wrap it around, and you have your nice little hooks. So with those hooks, the uh, People who first worked on electricity and designed the colors, I tell you what folks, they were big Hawkeye fans. Oh yeah, because black, the black wire goes to the gold screws and the white to the silver, black to gold. Who my Hawkeye fans out there, leave me a comment about how awesome the Hawkeyes are. So we have, our little loop. It's going to wrap around, wrap around my screw, and then we're going to tighten that down with our Phillips screwdriver. You can also use a flat if that's what you have. So you're gonna tighten that down And that's why I don't like flathead, because they jump around a lot. Okay, now it's tight. It's not gonna come off. That's what we want. That's why I like wrapping the loop around the screw like that. So black goes to gold, white goes to silver. And now folks, you don't really want to wrap it like this because the screw turns this way the screw turns clockwise so if i wrapped it like this and then turned it that way turned it clockwise it would want to push that screw up and out so i'm just going to take this twist it and then wrap it around like so, and now as I tighten it, as I tighten this screw, oh, let's get a smaller one. There we go. As I tighten this screw, it keeps that wire wrapped around in the correct way and doesn't have a tendency to push it out. So now with my bare ground, I'm going to bring it over here and wrap it on there. Now sometimes you need to make sure that you're pulling down on here as you're tightening it. Because see how it kind of worked up there? I don't like that. I don't want it to have a an avenue to be able to pull off or to come off. So I'm gonna pull down on it a little bit as I tighten it. So that way it's not gonna come off, okay? So we have, well actually I could pull that down a little bit tighter even. Pull it down just a hair. So I could do that, but right now it's not going anything. If I was wiring this up for good, I'd wanna go ahead and move that down. So now I have my black to gold, my white to silver, and my bare to ground or to green. So there you go, folks. That's what the colors correspond to on an outlet. That's how to wire up an outlet. So this would be for power coming in to wire up this outlet. If I had something else in series, that's where I'd go ahead and the wire that comes from that, I would hook black to gold, white to silver, and I would pigtail these greens together. But I'll show you how that works in another video. Thanks so much for watching, folks. I appreciate the view. 
I appreciate your hard work. I know it's tough to be able to work hard sometimes and to do things that you're not familiar with, but it's really important that you struggle through that and get that knowledge for future reference. So make sure you work hard because hard work is its own reward. Thanks for watching.